Hey guys, it's Magda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build. So I hope everyone had an amazing holiday and a very happy new year. I am glad to be back. I actually took a very much needed break, mental break, um, just some time off. I feel like every now and then it's really good to just kind of disconnect and take some time off, um, whether it be to recharge yourself, um, maybe do meditation or um, do some thought process to kind of get those creative juices rolling again. I feel like every now and then it's really much needed. Um, and yeah, and I feel like what better time to do that than the holidays. So with that being said, I am very excited for this upcoming year. Um, not only for just uh, goals that I have for this channel and ideas and just plans that I have that I'm very excited to um, create for this year, but also a lot of personal goals that I have for myself that I'm really excited for. I feel like 2023 was a year of growth and realization for me personally. And I feel like this year, the way I'm seeing 2024 is just the year that I take initiative and just action. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited. I hope that this year brings a lot of prosperity for you guys. And I hope that all your goals and wishes come true. So with that being said, I am building what I ended up calling a Spanish style apartments. Um, I'm not sure how accurate this is, but I kind of had envisioned like maybe like California style or I don't know, like Mexico. I know for sure in Mexico, I don't know if you guys um, ever watched, if you are Spanish speaking um, viewers have ever seen El Chavo del Ocho. Um, it's a very old show, but a classic, um, in the Mexican community might be even in just, you know, the Spanish community in general. Um, but I try to go for that type of style. So kind of like vesting that or neighborly, um, I'm sure there's a name for these type of buildings, um, or units where, you know, they have the court side in the middle and the apartments kind of just surround it. I'm sure there's a name for it, but I'm not sure if you know what they're called. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, you see this a lot, I feel like, in the western part of the country. And then also, of course, like um, Latin countries. And yeah, so I really wanted to come and play with the rent expansion pack or for rent. Um, with all the new features that were coming out with how to divide the actual sections or the units and also all the items, there was a lot to dive into. Um, I honestly, I feel like I didn't play with it enough. Something that I did figure out though, um, as I was building and I was kind of going, I was, I think I was like at the half point of finishing this build when, I decided to kind of split, go ahead and split them. For some reason, I thought that it would be easier to kind of differ, di different or set apart the actual apartments because there's a lot of rooms that I kind of wanted to make out what was going to go with what unit. And I made the mistake of splitting them up before I finished the build. And if you've played around with the expansion pack, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. But it was a mistake because it lagged the, the game so bad to the point where like I had to undo that and kind of just go back to just building it as just one build in general. Um, I'm not sure if they fixed it or not. I haven't really played with that feature, um, but I know I had to undo it just because it was just very ridiculously slow. But anyways, that's just something to keep in mind if you do play with this build or the features that come with the expansion pack. Just keep that in mind that um, that might lag the game if you do 
activate that before finishing the builds. Um, but anyways, the outside shell um, kind of comes together at this point. This apartment complex has three units. So I actually only decorate the last one, which is the yellow one, um, on camera. The other two, I kind of staged them. And I feel like I kind of leave it up to you guys if you do play with the build to kind of decide on what to or how to decorate the inside. Um, because in that first one, the pink one, that one's kind of like a staged one to where um, I imagine it's like the one where they have their office at. And it's just kind of like the model um, home uh, for the apartments. So I do, um, just add like a bed and just do like the whole layout of the actual apartment. Um, but don't really like decorate that one. And then the middle one, which is the blue one, that one I envision is like a vacant one. So maybe like the tenants, um, are just now moving out and they have a couple of stuff there still, I used actually a lot of the basement kit stuff for that one. So like the old mattress and I think there's like an old TV and like a broken lamp or a broken chair. A lot of those stuff um, I feel like was perfect for that unit just because I envision that they're like the stuff kind of left behind. Um, but yeah, and then on the last one, the yellow one is the actual one that I do on camera. And then for that one, I just envisioned it's a family with a teenage daughter and a son. So overall, I had a lot of fun kind of playing around with this idea. I do want to say as well, even though I don't have footage of me actually doing the other two units, at the end, in the screenshots, I have like an overall um, screenshot of both like the first floor and the second floor. So that way you guys have that visual of what um, both other units look like as well. And I was going to include screenshots of the actual like stuff that I actually put in there. For example, um, in that first unit, like I said, I put a bed there, kind of like staging it, a living room set, and then a couple of items in that middle one. I just didn't want it to be too repetitive though, because you kind of see that at a distance when I do the couple last screenshots of the overall floor plans so you kind of get an idea of what is what so um you will see that at the end and I I want to say for the first unit it's kind of I think it's the smaller one there's only two bedrooms but it does have like a bigger floor plan um on the floor first floor so there's like a bigger bigger kitchen like a bigger living room and it does have two bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms. So only one unit, which is the blue one, I think has like an actual ensuite bathroom. Um, the first unit has the one and a half. So there's a half bath downstairs and then a full bath upstairs um, for that second unit. So it's three bedrooms on that second one and then two and a half baths. So that one has their uh, master suite has like the actual full bath. And then on this third unit, which I'm currently working on, that one has three bedrooms, but only two bathrooms. And I don't think I include a bathtub in any of them except this, this middle unit, I want to say. Um, but there is plenty of room to add a bathtub if wanted um in the other units I actually want to say the bathtub is in this one um but I feel like I made the other bathrooms big enough to fit a bathtub if you wanted I just wasn't wasn't really thinking about what type of sims lived in those other units so that's why I really didn't include a bathtub it's just it's just a shower um but yeah here I am working on this one and I actually feel I feel like I chose the hardest um, apartment to actually like furnish. The other ones were pretty easy when it came to like the whole layout. I feel like it came together pretty quickly. Um, but this one, for some reason, I had I had trouble. 
And I feel like it's because it's more narrow than the other ones because the first unit, even though it's a little bit longer, I think, but just like a little bit, um, it's wider. So it was a lot easier to fit in a living room set and the kitchen with no problem. But this one, just because it's more narrow, it was just a lot more trickier, <laughs> but I made it work and I liked it because they actually pushed me out of my comfort zone. Um, the reason being is because for this last unit, immediately when you walk in, um, you walk in into the kitchen and normally I try to shy away from that. I'm not sure why. I feel like I do it subconsciously. I always just either have like an entryway or the living room or even the dining room, but just never the kitchen. I'm not sure why. Um, so yeah, I like that about that last unit that it was just a little bit more different. And I feel like it's realistic um, just because I feel like, you know, some apartments are that way or some homes. So um, but yeah, I, I did that differently, which I really like. And then for the backyard, if you can even call call it that for these units um it's very small um I can say that each one does have a little patio I include um in the footage these two um I include the well these two but the last one it's off camera but it's nothing um extra it's just simple I think I just add like a grill and a a table I think um but yeah I just I wasn't too I wasn't too mad at that just because where this lot is at it's a very beautiful lot and then of course you see the scenery like there's um a water front I don't know if it's like a lake or a river or something in the back and there's like a little walking path so I imagine that that kind of part of like their backyard so they can walk freely back there too they just have their own little um private patios um which I actually really did enjoy making just because I don't know they were just so small and easy to just I don't know uh find objects that I wanted for each little patio and I actually making this one right now the middle patio I was making this not thinking yet that this was going to be an empty um, apartment. So that's why there's like a whole bunch of more extra stuff there. Because I think I first envisioned that it probably was going to be like a set of grandparents um, that really liked like gardening and stuff. So I was going to add some more plants. Um, but I feel like it still kind of goes with the storyline because I envisioned that maybe the back patio stuff is probably like the last stuff you probably get moving out. Um, you want to take care of like the big stuff first. So, you know, everything inside of the apartment and then that stuff can kind of wait. So I wasn't mad at it. I left it because I really liked it. I thought it was cute. Um, but anyways, here moving on to the inside of this apartment. I really liked how it came out um, all together. I feel like I struggled with how to place these couches. I feel like one of the reasons why I did struggle though is because I wanted to include a bigger eating area or at least in like an island or something. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe because I was already thinking that this was going to be for a family. So I wanted to have like a general eating area. Um, which I actually do place a small table where the blue entry tables at near the door I replace it with a small um, breakfast table and just two chairs which I feel like it's fine because realistically I feel like whenever you have a small family um, and this might be just my experience but um, you know you might eat in the living room or you know some may eat um, at the table or some may not eat all at once. So I feel like it's realistic, especially living in, you know, apartments. I feel like you kind of try to make use of what you have uh, when it comes to, you know, living in an apartment that might not have like an official official dining room. Um, but anyways, I used the new cabinets that came with the a new expansion pack, which may I say, beautiful, beautiful swatches too. Um, I am looking forward to building more with the, the new objects that came with the expansion pack, 
just because they're they're really pretty and I feel like a lot of them have I don't know like a sense of like realism like the plant there's like a new plant that came with it which I think I used already here in the living room and also like these art pieces that I want to say one's like an elephant I'm not sure what the other one is but they're just really pretty and like the details I just know I'm going to have a lot of fun um, with these objects in the future. And I feel like what I like about them too is you can kind of incorporate them in different type of like styles um, for different types of builds, which I feel like I'm really in favor of. Um, you have a bit more freedom of how to use those objects. So I'm really excited. And then also clutter items. I love um, any type of clutter item that we may get, whether it be for the kitchen or bathroom. And one of my favorites is that new dish rack. Um, I feel like it's just really realistic. And again, the details, like how you have little silverware or I'm not sure what that is that's poking out. I think it is like spoons or forks and stuff. But like little details like that where the object is not like, flat it's not just I don't know it's not as simple like you add a little bit more details I don't know it's just it's really realistic and I really hope that we get more items like that in the future and yeah so this is the small little table that I was talking about I really like how it came out I like the colors in the yellows that match with that table and then I want to say that's pretty much it for the kitchen off camera. I do add some more clutter items on top of the fridge and yeah. So moving on into the living room now, I actually switch out the, I want to say that other chair near the staircase with a bookshelf. Um, but I feel like besides that, everything else pretty much stays the same I tried to use a lot of the items that came with the new expansion pack. I want to say I I used the rug that came with that expansion pack and then maybe the curtains that I place in here as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like the overall theme that I tried to go for this for this unit is maybe like a lot of thrifted stuff or a lot of stuff brought down from the generations in the family. And towards the end of the build, I actually add a set of curtains um, right where that archway is leading into the mudroom or to the back door. Um, and I feel like I really liked it because it's just separated the space even more. I feel like because, again, it's so narrow, um, I felt like there was some empty, empty spots is what it felt like. Uh, so in that back mud, more mud, mud room, I add the washer and dryer and you could kind of see it as like you came in through the door. Um, so yeah, so I added a set of curtains there just to, to kind of divide that. And I really liked it. Um, now that I mentioned washer and dryer, I did not add a laundry basket in this unit or in any of the units. Um, I feel like you definitely, definitely need to do that if you're playing with the build. Um, I always, for some reason, I always forget to add that and the fire alarm or trash cans. But in this build, I did manage to add the dumpsters in the back um, and fire alarms, but I did do that off camera. Um, but yeah, the other units don't have a washer and dryer. I imagine that maybe the tenants brought that with them. Um, they are not, um, they do not come with the units. So that's something that you can add. I feel like there's space because each, well, the first unit has a mudroom. It's actually a little bit bigger than the one in this unit, but the middle unit actually only, well, they're, they're back doors in the actual dining room. So there's no set place unless you put it upstairs it has like a little landing area that I feel like would probably would be the best place to put the washer and dryer if you want to play with that um but yeah I kind of talked over the bathroom um which was pretty simple I just did a lot of base games surprisingly in most of the bathrooms 
Um, I did include that shower and I feel like there's room down here if you wanted to add another bathtub. There is a bathtub in the bathroom upstairs. Um, but yeah, so I just add the last clutter items um, in this living room. I really like that plant that came with the new expansion pack. There's two. There's like the little palm tree that I feel like I'll find myself using a lot. And then there's the actual like um, standing plant um, that I'm using in the living room as well. And I want to say for some reason, there's some items that disappeared um, in the kids' bedroom. Um, you'll see me placing them and they might be missing through the actual like footage of me decorating other parts of the room. I just want to give you a heads up, but I do include them in the screenshots and of course before uploading um, the builds. One of the questions that I'm curious about, I actually have not really done much of the gameplay um, when it comes to the expansion pack and I'm curious to whenever the um, the units go up in the gallery if they all if it all downloads as like one whole build and then the units separately I don't know if that makes sense I'll have to play around with that um, if you guys have any idea on how that works or any tips or tricks that um, that you might have learned please definitely let me know down in the comments also, I'm in this group on Facebook um, for like Sim Builders and a lot of people on there were talking about how when the expansion pack came out, there was a lot of bugs, um, a lot of issues that people were having. For me personally, I'm not sure if this had anything to do with it, but whenever I did download the game um, or like downloaded the expansion pack, for some reason, at some point in time, my saved files or my saved games that I had in the actual game just randomly deleted and for a minute like whenever I would try to play the game it would just be blank like there was no no um, option for me to play the game or to play a saved file um, it was really frustrating I tried to get feedback from the actual support group a lot of people were saying to uh, uninstall the game and then also to repair the game and it took a couple of tries of just repairing and like relaunching eventually I did get some of the saved files back and then eventually it did let me go past the actual main menu um, but yeah, I would love to hear if you guys had any issues like that um, while launching the game for the first time after that expansion pack. I'm just curious if if it was something that, I don't know, might have happened um, with the new release or if it's something I have to tweak on my end. Um, but anyways, I talked over most of this bedroom. Um, something that I really enjoyed is adding that yellow, I want to say it's a yellow chair. I think they use it as a chair in the new expansion pack, but I liked it as a actual uh, bedside table and just added some clutter items. Again, kids' bedrooms are my favorite rooms to decorate just because you have a lot of ways to go about their personalities. I feel like kids have a lot of interest. Um, and yeah, so this, <laughs> this bedroom just has a little bit of everything. I feel like, um, he's probably interested in a lot of sports and gaming. Um, something that I really enjoyed adding is like that, um, mold or like stains in the bedroom. I want to say I placed a few, maybe in the bathroom, um, but mostly they were in his bedroom. Maybe there's like some type of leak there or something that needs to be fixed. Um, but yeah, I had fun with kind of playing with that storyline and then moving on to the parents bedroom again, I was thinking more of a single mom. Of course you can have, you know, whoever living here, but I kind of decorated it to kind of, um, I don't know, like envision that. So it wasn't, it's not cluttered at all. I used this dresser that I think 
Don't quote me, but I think it came from Jungle Adventure, which I don't use as much as I should. I feel like the reason being is because I see the dresser and I see it so vibrant and I forget that there's like other pretty like neutral swatches that you can use in other builds. So I feel like I don't use it enough and it's really, really pretty because I love, I love the detailing and like the like the worn scratches and stuff on it just really pretty so i'm glad that i chose that for this bedroom and i want to say i just add an ironing board to the bedroom near the door and then i work on the patio i just add a couple of plants i feel like this is one of the smallest um patios um compared to the other ones because i know for the middle one you can kind of see it in just a moment, I add a chair and some more plants. I do leave the first unit's patio empty. Um, and yeah, I move on now into the um, daughter's bedroom. And for the daughter's bedroom, I feel like I went with more of her personality being like a gamer. I wanted to do a little bit something different because normally for the daughter's bedroom, especially if they're like teenagers, I go with like the stereotypical, maybe like girly girl and a lot of like makeup and stuff everywhere. Um, which not to say I don't include that here. I do, but a lot of the posters and like the other bedrooms, they just tend to be very like um like girly girl or or whatnot but like this one I think I do more of like a gamer type of style like poster boards and stuff so I feel like it was a little bit different and yeah I like to keep in mind their personalities and kind of incorporate the clutter items like that and I skip over the bathroom. Um, I totally forget that I did not include it in the footage. Reason being is because I feel like this video is already long enough. Um, so the bathroom, it's pretty much the same from downstairs. The only thing is that I do add the bathtub in this one. So that's the only thing that changes. So once I finish with this bedroom, I do move on to the rest of the unit for the final touches and to the screenshots. So I just want to appreciate you guys and thank y'all for y'all support. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know of any ideas or suggestions down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. my mind occupied so that I can focus on anything but you cause all I want is to get some shut eye but the thought of you is keeping me awake I don't know what it is
since